Hi, welcome. In this very short video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can record your voice on your presentation. You've completed the PowerPoint presentation, and obviously, if you were in class, you would have been speaking to this slide. What we're going to do is to simply go to the slideshow tab. And under the slideshow tab, we have record slideshow. You click on record slideshow and it shows you two options. Re start recording from the beginning or start recording from current slide. We select start recording from beginning and then it's going to ask us what do we want to include in this narration that we're about to record. Slide and animation timings narration, ink, and laser pointer. We're going to include everything, so we click on Start Recording. The moment you click on Start Recording, it will start recording your voice from the very first slide. Take note of this small dialog box here. shows us the timer. The first timer shows us the time we spend recording on the first slide or whatever slide you're on at that time. And then the second timer is the overall timer, the time we spend on the slide, recording our voice on all the slides. And then if you want to pause your recording, you click on pause recording. And then it shows us this dialog box where we can also continue to record our voice when we're ready. So I click on resume recording and then we can continue. The arrow there allows us to move to the next slide. And then once you move to the next slide, the first time I start recording again from the beginning, it allows you to record from the beginning. You speak to this particular slide. Take note that you're not speaking as you're moving from one slide to the other. You allow the slides to open up before you start speaking so that your voice can be properly captured. Now, another thing I'd like to show us is how to use the pen. You can see that we have some icon here, even though they are not very visible, maybe looking transparent, but you will see them obviously, depending on the color or the background of your slides. Now we can pick up this pen and annotate on our presentation. And we can also go back to that same place where we picked up the pen, and I can also erase my annotation. You can do a whole lot. You can change the colors and all that. Now you're done recording your voice. On the icons below, we have where we can just simply end the show. We have about six icons there. The last icon, once you click on it, it allows you to click on end show. And you can also pause the recording there and other things that you can do. But we're just going to end the show. And once we end the show, you can also click on the escape button on your keyboard to also end the show. Now, once we're done with that, we can see that each of this slide has a recording. You can play your recording on this each slide. The moment you click on start recording, it will start recording. So you, you can do that and then you can also go ahead to clear record clear recordings on any slide that you're not satisfied with. You can. Now, I'd like to also show us something about setup slideshow. Now, take note of advanced slides. If I click on manual, manual means that as your students will play the slide, they would need to click on maybe the arrow button to move forward, to move from one slide to the next slide. But if we use timings it simply means that if we leave it like this the slides will play themselves automatically it will move from one slide to the next slide without having to manually move them from one slide to the next so we're going to leave it like that i just wanted you to take note of that how do you save this recording you simply go to file save as and then i'll, I'll save it on the desktop and then you can give it a name. You can give it a name. I'll give it a separate name. And then save as type. I select PowerPoint Show. PowerPoint Show. 
and then I click on save that has been saved and then you can go ahead and then upload it or send it to whoever would be needing it thank you